hashtag NEJC, hashtag CCI, Bad Drip Labs, Clown Serum, hashtag Vape Overload, CKS. Checking in for you guys. Going to blow some clouds. Haven't done a video in a while. You know, real life stuff has gotten in the way. Uh, there was a vape meet this weekend. I missed the one down in Philadelphia. I really wanted to go to that. I think it would have been a lot more fun than the vape meet locally. Um, it would have been way more fun. Way, it wouldn't even have mattered if I lost. It would have just been way more fun. But oh well. You know what I'm saying? Using the uh, Mutation XV2 on the 1. I got some new wire coming in for uh, springs. So I think I'm going to be able to fix my simple mod. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, you know. This point three crap for uh, contests... It's kind of, it's kind of gay. I expressed my, I didn't like the, the six milligram nicotine either. That was kind of retarded. You know, I, I don't know. It wasn't just my opinion either. There was a lot of guys that were like, what? No zero? What, what's going on? But, you know, it's whatever. They, they get to pick whatever they want to use. You know. I'm just going to keep at it. You know what I mean? I got second. Um, got a couple Samsung 25 hours out of the deal. That's pretty cool. I need more batteries. I got to order more. You know? You know, you guys that say, I ain't got no density. Um, you know, I'm not good enough to do this or that, you know, it's whatever. Um, man, that humble thing, I, I don't know. I'm a pretty humble guy. I don't like, I don't know. I, I don't like not having rules to something. You know what I mean? Like, there's no, when there's no rules, okay, cool. Then there shouldn't be any rules and I should be able to, to do it any way I want. Not under some retarded ohm load. You know, it's okay. I'm going to keep going. Maybe in the next contest, we'll uh, be a real outlaw. You know, maybe uh, this is one of my uh, CCI Smurfs. I'm going to swap. What, what time are we at? 3, 3.17. I'm gonna swap to one of the new, um, one of the new Samsungs I got from uh, the vape meet yesterday. Battery safety, guys. You just slip her in there, nice and gentle, and just slide her in there. Let's see if this Samsung is the same size as the other Samsung. It seems to be. That's a good tell. You know what I'm saying? That that's good. Let's see if she reacts the same. Is um is the other Samsung? Let's let's just pull this off. Nice and crispy. Let's get a better grip, shall we? Seems to be working right. I don't know this this other coil doesn't seem to be uh, this energy. Oh, it's energetic. Just wasn't charged up. Bam. Put some more fluid on there. Soak those coils up. Blow some more clouds, right? Let's go. Uh, let's go half airflow. Let's see how that works. You know, I, I don't know. That just seemed like too much air. I'm gonna tone it down. Putting six drops in there going white. I'm going to tone her down to, uh, uh, you know, one bar and then half the next. I 
I think that's a better cloud. I think that works better. If that airflow. You know. Let's keep let's keep pounding on this battery for uh, you know. Gotta cycle it, gotta wake it up. You know. Trying to uh trying to get more distance. Keep the cloud together. Working on my uh, my exhale. Um, I've been sitting on my bed in my room, blowing clouds at a wall, about eight nine feet away, trying to get my impact crater to be crazy. <clears throat> Just practicing up, you know. I think it's I think it's a pretty good cloud. Um, I don't know. A good friend of mine told me that it's it's so hard to judge your own cloud because you really you really can't judge your cloud. I think he's he's right. He's right. You you really can't judge your own cloud because personally I think I have an okay cloud. I don't know. Peeps that watch this video, you know, tell me what you think. You think it's a good enough cloud? I haven't got my banner set up yet. I gotta get permission to black out a wall. Um, so I can have a nice, a really nice area. <coughs> that should be a lot of fun. Not enough air. <coughs> really coated up with uh, VGPG. What am I at? Seven minutes, 40 seconds. really got to get that after a while I've noticed that once your throat gets impregnated with um, with the fluid it really doesn't <clears throat> blowing clouds doesn't seem to work as well you know got pulled over yesterday I was driving too slow at one o'clock in the morning I uh, was out getting out of the vape meet like 1230 to 12.45. Pulled me over. That was annoying. Um, you know, I'm feeling this battery. This battery is starting to get a little weak. I'm going to swap batteries, blow a few more clouds. You know, they pull me over. I'm going too slow. It's late at night. I'm supposed to be drunk. Cops like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Talk to him about vaping. He wants to quit smoking. I'm like, you should try vaping. Gave him a card for a local vape shop. That was pretty sweet. That, that was pretty sweet. Um, I didn't get to blow a cloud for him. I regret not doing that. He probably would have been uh, a little bit more excited about vaping if I showed him what I can do. But, um, you know, oh well, right? You know, I'm just vaping this place out. I'll blow a couple more and then get the flock out of here.
got a freaking, uh, you know, it's kind of hilarious. I blew in the machine. If it was a cloud, it would have been a massive cloud because I took a really deep breath. Um, you know, I blew zero zero, by the way, because I, I don't drink uh, that much. I had like like a shot or whatever during the uh, vape meet, but that was hours before. It You know, it didn't matter. <laughs> Let's blow one more, right? Totally vape this place out. I hate getting pulled over for bullshit because I'm driving at 50 miles per hour. 50, I was driving 54 miles per hour in a 55 zone. Um, usually I drive 50 down this road. I don't give a fuck. I get 22 miles to the gallon if I drive at 50 miles per hour. So I get pulled over by a cop. Because I'm driving too slow, late at night. It's bullshit. I've been driving down that same road in the same way for a year now. Never had a problem. And then I get pulled over. It's the end of the month. You know, they're looking for tickets and shit like that. It, it just sucks. You know? But there you go. Some clouds checking into my favorite... Uh, vape groups and stuff like that shout out to grandpappy and all those guys um you know trying to have some fun frustrated with the amount of tickets that i've got it's just annoying as shit having to pay all this crap i don't know i'm still trying to decide if i'm gonna fight them or not because it's all fraud anyways you know getting threatened with misdemeanors and felonies and traffic good luck with that you're gonna have to show me a misdemeanor complaint, felony complaint, signed by a competent third-party first-hand knowledge witness of a crime, okay? It can't be the cop because he's an interested party. He's the one handing you the summons or the, you know, the, the instrument. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the law. According to the Vehicle and Traffic Code of New York State and the Criminal Procedures and Law of New York State, you can't do that. You've got to have a complete paperwork. And I've never encountered one. I've been had multiple traffic infractions where they're trying to give me lots of tickets and shit like that. It's the shotgun effect where they just shoot you with lots of tickets to see what sticks. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You know, they're, they're going to express themselves and whatever. You know, the, the last time they expressed themselves, they had me in jail for 135 days, not on the roll call. It was completely illegal completely illegal and they knew it and I, exp I told them that to, to that effect and they had to let me go but not until I, they sent me to a mental health ward I, I'm really frustrated with that shit really really frustrated um you know it's annoying like a license isn't magic it doesn't give you the ability to drive you learn how to drive and then you drive you don't need a license to drive you just need to pay their tax you don't need a, you, once you buy a registration, you shouldn't have to buy another registration. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make any sense. The state wants their money. It's completely illegal, and it's in a commercial edifice, but I'm not carrying freight for hire. You know, I'm not doing any inter- or intrastate travel. You know, I'm traveling down the right-of-way, getting to work and back. Like, that's all I do. I go to the vape shop and hang out a little bit, and then I go to work, or I go to work, and then I go to the vape shop, and then I go home possibly to a movie or something I, I don't know it, it really it really makes me angry you know what I mean like really a deep down rage that so many people have allowed constables on patrol to turn into a militant arm of the United States government big U big S big A the corporation it's it's just really annoying it makes me sick at heart that we have fallen so far from grace, so far from a great nation, that we have to tax everyone to death. Fines and fees and everything like that. It's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. You know, it used to be people respected police officers. Now they don't. No one respects a police officer. They fear them. That's ridiculous. It's just a dude with a gun and a badge. You don't even know if he's real or not. If he has 